good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on internal combustion engines today we are going to discuss about the solar solex carburetor in the last class we have seen the working of simple carburetor there we find so many difficulties as it serves for the constant speed engine that means it cannot give variety of air fuel ratio for variety of speeds so those difficulties can be overcome in solex carburetor actually in the day to day life you know we need a variety of speeds if i fix the carburetor for a vehicle for the transportation purpose the vehicle has to serve that means the carburetor has to serve many speeds so that means uh, you know for a cold starting that means at the beginning of the starting period at the beginning period the engine should uh, we should be at very cold so in order to the in order to do start the engine we must give a rich mixture for that uh, the issue is cold starting and warming and the second one is after starting you know if the traffic is not there we will go with a constant speed that is normal running in a usual way and for example if the signal come because of heavy traffic at the time the engine is running but vehicle is stopped and that is called idling that means engine is running but there is no power output as the vehicle is not moving and slow running that is called idling and slow running means if you give 0 to 25% of the load on the engine that we call it as slow running and if the traffic is not there and the and the roads are very clear then you will go with high speed that is called you need to give the acceleration to the vehicle that is called acceleration so uh, all the vehicle has to undergo these kind of variety of speeds four variety of speeds if the carburetor serves these four variety of speeds then the carburetor is most suitable to the uh, modern vehicles so let's discuss about the solex carburetor the first one is uh, in the in the list uh, we need to discuss about the cold starting and warming for the cold starting already we know this is a float this is the float chamber this one is float and the two is main jet this is the float chamber and this is the main jet and you know it uh, the solex carburetor have a unique feature that is called by starter so that means a by starter is something like a pro circle it has number of holes on it so the moment the driver this is called a lever seventh is the lever the moment the driver pull the lever this uh, maximum diameter of the you know by starter will go and contact the line which is provided to the float chamber so that means the maximum amount of fuel can be entered because as the for example if you don't want to <coughs> you know if you for example if you pull the lever opposite the opposite side the small diameter of something like this one the small diameter hole will engage to this line so that the amount of fuel entering into this line is restricted from the float chamber so if for example in the cold starting if i lift the driver pull the lever means the maximum diameter of the hole is engaged to the line which is from the float chamber so that the maximum amount of fuel can be entering to the by starter at the similarly air is entering into this orifice these two mixes here and entering into this line which is below the throttle wall that means if you, even if you don't accelerate the you will get the rich mixture that means more amount of fuel and less amount of air that this is for cold starting the more amount of fuel and less amount of air that means high rich mixture is entering into the engine so that the engine is getting start and getting warm up so that is the case for uh, first one that is called uh, uh, cold starting and warming the second one is a uh, normal running in the normal running as we seen in the um, uh, simple carburetor the fuel from the you know float chamber is entering into the venturi where the fuel is entering so the fuel the moment the fuel comes out from this line this air is come with high velocity so that this air and fuel mix together and you know for a normal normal running we have to accelerate the flow so we have to accelerate the engine in a light, in a little bit so that the throttle valve open so the from the throttle valve the air fuel mixture is entering into the engine so after cold starting that means in the during normal condition after getting start we will the the you know driver itself pull the lever so that the minimum diameter of the by starter will engage to this line so that less amount of fuel is entering so that now of course in the normal condition also this line is open but you will get a very very less air fuel mixture less ratio of air fuel mixture because the small amount of the diameter is engaged in the normal running the second option is normal running this is the second uh, 
point that is normal running in the normal running the air fuel ratio coming from the the majority of the air fuel ratio coming from this venturi itself so that means opening the throttle the third one is a uh, idling and slow running idling and slow running means uh, the engine is running but the, uh, there is no power output so at that time the fuel from this line is taking into this uh, you know pilot jet and this is the tenth is the pilot orifice bleed so from this uh, atmosphere the at air is entering into this one so that the air fuel from this line is entering here the screw is adjusted automatically so that this air fuel mixture is entering into this one and this screw is also automatically adjusted so that the air fuel mixture is entering even uh, that is why at the traffic even if you don't uh, accelerate the vehicle that means even if you don't give acceleration even if you don't open the throttle valve the fuel air fuel mixture is entering into the engine the engine is keep running even if you don't touch the acceleration so the because of this line so this line is automatically provided for ideal ideal condition ideal running condition and low speed running also this is useful and the next one is acceleration this is very very important if the roads are very very clear we need to go with high speed we can go with high speed right at the time if the driver press the button this you know paddle this this is something like fulcrum effect the moment it will go to this direction this line will come to this version that means if it is something like fulcrum effect if you press this one this side automatically it will come like this in the in the top side so the moment it comes to this side the fuel which whatever there here this is something like act as like a diaphragm the fuel which is there in the diaphragm uh, you know it get compressed and go to this line and it is entering into the pilot jet something like a additional jet so that already in the normal condition some amount of fuel is entering and from because of this acceleration aside more amount of fuel is entering so that the air fuel mixture is getting rich so this rich mixture is entering into the engine so that the your engine is going to accelerate once the acceleration is done if you release the pedal it will come back so that the fuel, it will whenever it comes to the bag the volume increases pressure reduce so this wall automatically lifted and fuel from this wall is entering into the diaphragm and this is useful for the next acceleration purpose that is how this solex carburetor serves all kind of purposes that means it can serve variety of speeds thank you very much